Welcome to Legacy Conversations, a channel where we preserve military memories and history. Hello, Internet. Well, we're back. I've got another juicy wee little tale about 620 for you today. Um, yes, 620, uh, integral part of my life. Uh, because of LOS 620, certain things occurred and uh, that's had an impact on my whole life up until this point. And uh, as you may well know, uh, because of 620's accident, incident, call it what you want to, there she is, photo uh, that I have in my possession that somebody nicked for me somewhere along the line. I think I know who nicked this photo for me. This was, um, it's got a stamp on the back of it, Mike Holmes, Eastern Province Herald. So I will give him the due credit that he, that he uh, needs to be given. But here we go. I'll put one over here for you. Uh, 620 being taken out of water. Now, this is what this lot's about. I have three esteemed gentlemen here with me on this Zoom call. Uh, we'll start with the uh, senior lad amongst them, uh, uh, Mr. Neville Langford. Uh, he was the, uh, the skipper of this expedition, I do believe. Uh, then we have Gordon. I think he just got collared to go along for the ride. And then we have uh, Ian, my good buddy, uh, fellow flight engineer, McLaughlin. I think Ian was on holidays already. But I'm talking too much. Lads, you tell the story of 620, the recovery. Let's just call it because it couldn't be a rescue because she was Murtu. The recovery of 620. Thank you for joining us and do share your story, and we do really, really, really appreciate it. We'll see. Um, I don't know if I was on duty crew or what, but I remember the call coming out in the morning. Um, the animals go out, so there's a rescue out at sea. And um, it wasn't long off, yeah, I don't know, two or three hours when um, Ben Krichler came in. He said, listen, the Ella's in the water. Uh, we're organizing a recovery. And it wasn't long after that. Um, he let us know that the John Ross was in the harbor. We need to get the ASAP. So Gordon, I don't know, uh, Ian, I think, or Gordon rounded up the guys and we went out. And obviously, I don't have a good stomach for flying or boating. So I wasn't too excited. I thought maybe I should try and get out of it. Anyway, so we went down to the John Ross and there the boat was beautiful. Man. And the guys took us on a tour. And I remember seeing the engine room. There were two motors there and one was stripped. They, the the, the uh, tug only had one motor. <laughs> yeah, I don't like this. But anyway, so the hop, it was pretty flat in the bay. And, uh, okay, so off we went. So before we got to Cape, Cape Recife, it was pretty flat. And I remember Gordon coming and said, listen, we go into the galley. Uh, the guys have made nice pea soup. And we sat down and I looked at my plate and the soup was running left and right. I said, listen, Gordon, cheers, I'm out of here. And I went up to, to the deck and I got myself a nice flat surface in the center of the boat. And there I lay for two or three hours. Then I remember Ian coming to says, Nev, we're here. And uh, yeah, I got up and there the Ella was. It was quite a distance from us still. And it was belly up. You know, as we saw the bottom, and there was such a sad picture. I don't recall if there was another boat hanging onto the uh, Ella. Gordon, I don't know. Was it was it someone else? I think it was a, a boat there. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so there we were. So now we're going to go out and we're going to be going to uh, attach the cables to the Alouette. And uh, the guys said, listen, there's a rubber duck. I want one or two of you guys on the rubber duck hold on to the aloe. There I was. So now, now you must remember, I was lying above deck and I wasn't feeling strong. And now I'm in the rubber duck. I thought, you know, this is going to be better. And this thing was bobbing around. I thought, listen, am I going to shoot a cat here? Or... <laughs> listen, so I, I, I was holding back as much as I could. Anyway, so we were in the rubber duck probably about an hour or so. And uh, yeah, we had all the cables and everything attached. And that was it. Then it was hoisted up and I was fine after that. And then we started moving again. And uh, I went up to my favorite spot and I lay there for the two or three hours. And as we rounded the Cape Receive, Gordon said to me, Neville, come down. Let's go to the pub. We have a beer. Listen, I should have sat in the pub the whole time. After my first beer, I was fine. And yeah, that's my story. Eh? So thank you, Neville. Um, uh, it seems that we had the dreaded load shedding issues again there. Uh, so yeah, uh, we've got the story. We've got it. Uh, somebody, for instance, I never knew um 
the bits about John Ross. Uh, for those of you uh, that are not familiar with the John Ross, she was one of two um, ocean-going, uh, deep-sea uh, salvage tugs in South African hands at that stage of the game. The other was the Volrad Voltamada. The John Ross is still going tall today as she, under a new name. A terrific piece of equi equipment that. So, yeah, you had a privilege. You and 620 to ride on the John Ross while I was riding on my, my hospital gurney up and down the, the passages um, of uh, what was known then, those days, as Provincial Hospital. Okay, Neville, I say thank you so, so much. Uh, pity the pleasure. load shedding got to the other lads, and I will try and see if I can get hold of them at some point in time, and uh, we can complete the story from, from the, the three of your point of view. Uh, I will add here, just before Neville goes, um, there's a photo here of him... Um, back on land on the harbor wall and you can see neville there that's where i'll put an arrow there to where neville is standing and 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 when they lowering 620 off um off the john ross onto the onto the um key onto the whatever you call that thing in harbor um one question neville if i might ask before you go uh mm -hmm. the how did you guys manage to turn her upside down or did you just leave her? Did you hoist her um, inverted onto the deck and leave her like that? Or did you guys pull her over or because uh, at one point she's back on her wheels back in the hangar? Yeah, you know, for sure. I don't recall. I remember hoisting upside down, and then uh, if I think it was a photograph from that one you just pointed now. Was she up? Was she turned yeah, around? She was then? on her feet there when, uh, when uh, you guys. Uh, loaded her onto the low bed. Yeah. So she must have been turned upside down or right way around or something somewhere along the line. Yeah, yeah. No, she was loaded that way. I think, yeah, then maybe perhaps when they got to the harbor, we may have inverted again. I'm not too sure. Not yeah. to remember. Long, long, long ago, but at least we saw her uh, then back on her wheels and uh, not the indignation of being whipped out of the water upside down. Yeah, I know that was sad, eh? yeah. No, we uh when when we got there, she 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 had turned upside down and the tail boom was actually still on. Yeah. So I dived underneath to to put that on the on the uh, lifting eye, you know. And uh we eventually connected it to the lifting eye. So we pulled her out of the water upside down. But with the with the pulling of, of the aloe towards the uh the tug. That's when the tail boom broke off. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so that was a pity, though, because, you know, we wanted to have a look. Uh, you said you heard a loud bang, eh, Fossie? No, so it, was it was the engine. The, the, the huh? engine went. It, it was, Is it? Yeah, it was engine failure. Out-and-out out engine failure. There was no... Uh, there was no transmission loss. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, and it, it, it was determined to... Um, this is total and utter speculation uh, on my part. Okay, Gordon, joining us again too. Um, uh, that was a motor that we fitted just before for before Christmas. Um, Dolph and myself did the engine change just before Christmas, and then uh, I did the uh, he did the test flight. Um, I think it was with Pete Berger. I'm not sure. Uh, and then I did the. Um, Compass wing, and the next time that aeroplane flew was on that call out on the 11th of January. Um, and that was a, a one of a batch of motors. Uh, uh, once again, this is speculation. This is my, uh, this is rumors and uh, the rest of it that was going on. And uh, uh, I've been reliably informed by a board of inquiry member that this was one of a batch of engines. Um, a problematic batch of engines that were were not correctly serviced at your old Atlas. alma mater. Yeah, I wasn't going to name Zico. too many names. So there was no transmission issues with this alloy. So you lost uh, a gearbox okay. and a, a tail drive shaft on us, but there was nothing wrong with them apart from that they were uh, a little okay. bit salty. Um, I was busy having a bra at home. 
And obviously, you know me, and when I start a fire, you got to have a beer. Okay, I haven't started a fire, but I have to have a beer. I mean, if the pub's open, you have to have a beer. That's rule number one if you're on the door. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we, we're having a guy. And in those days, there were no cell phones or anything. Remember, we used to carry pages. And uh, But I didn't have a pager. I was finished. I'm going to Bloemfontein. I'm finished with 16 Squadron. And uh, I get a phone call from... Uh, Airman, somebody I can't remember. So I thought to myself, uh, uh, Fire Sergeant Fossey and Captain, I uh, forget the name of the war, your pilot. He what was his name? No, yeah, Berger, 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 Berger. Berger, Berger. Pete Berger. And uh, so I thought, ah, this is Fossey stuffing me around. And I must come to the base and get, and go and get these guys out of the water and all this stuff. So I thought, ah, no. Ah, uh, fuck it. Tell Fossey to fucking get on the, uh, on the line. Simply said, fuck Fossey, you know, that type of thing, you know what I mean? So, next thing, that colonel or whatever. He was brigadier at that stage yeah. already. Or something like that, yeah. Says, plus this is McLaughlin, cry off. You know, you're hot. You're going to get your ass down here now. <laughs> Just like my flying over all my, my helmet there. Everything's packed away, so eventually I couldn't find my shoes, my flying boots. So I was somewhere packing it, so I cut that. And I put an overall on, got an orange overall, found that, found the helmet. In my Reynolds 9, still got a Moose speed trap, speed fine. And uh, get to the base, yeah, there's the elevator ready and everything like that. And I, I don't know who the pilot was. I can't remember. But anyway. Get in the LO, we started up everything, take off clearance as we're pulling power. The, the tower tells us, contact your option. So brrr, we go down on power again, contact the option. All alouettes are grounded. So I thought, oh, well, no, let him up. I hasn't been there. He spoiled it so much, you know. So <laughs> go into the tea room there, Gordon. Uh, so thought, okay, now, well, I'm going to go home now. And then I think uh, the Krichler, uh, what the commandant are. Uh, okay, yeah. yeah. Colonel, you might be in a colonel there now. No, I think he was yeah, full brigadier uh, already. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. but anyway, but anyway, he, he comes in there and said, McLaughlin, can I have you three mana? I there's a boat waiting for you, or, or whatever. And I'm sure, uh, well, uh, who was Bulk Fuel, man? I'm sure he came with us. What's hmm? his name from Bulk Fuel? Hank? Hank? No, no. No, that was, was me. Was I, I was doing bulk fuel at that stage. And uh, running in. Yeah. Well, I, no, but I, you, you don't, Devil, you don't look like ink anyway. <laughs> anyway now, on, yeah. the, on the photo, uh, that photo, Neville, that I was talking about yes. just now, uh, Kiri, the old copper. Yes. Yeah. He was on that photo, but he gone down to the harbor to, with the vehicle. Oh, yes. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You yeah. remember seeing him there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> So yeah, we, we all, all three of us got in the boat. We got there, yeah, but it looked bad, eh? All of the, yeah. the headsets hanging down there, and we died. We had, we had goggles. Died down, we check. Yeah, it was spooky. Eh? Shut ourselves to, to. I don't know who eventually dived down. I think it was me. I'm not sure. Yeah. Dived down to the to the to the hook at the at the, at the to the lifting eye. Yeah. And. Uh, mm -hmm. Eventually got the rope on and uh, started pulling it there. Yeah. But now afterwards, I, I must admit that uh, we, we had a lacquer party on that thing. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> we arrived back in the harbor. <laughs> of course, McLaughlin had a good couple of years. was on the loft now. Job is gedoen. It's strapped down on the deck and everything like that. Here comes a bloody airman down to the cabin. He's looking for uh, for us. Can I be on top there? So we had to go and put lift, connect up the, hook, the uh, lifting eye, you know, for the crane to pull it off there and everything like it. Nobody knew, and there's just cameras flashing the whole time. I was in the Herald too. I don't know where that photograph. I was looking for it to actually show you. Nobody knew how drunk I was on top of that elevator that, that time. <laughs> well, I remember. <laughs> yeah, shame. Poor he was you. reclining on the floor. I can hear you, Scotton. You there? In the meantime, you lot are saping downstairs. Yeah, you're resting in pain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I was high as a kite at that stage of the game because that was the night, wasn't it? Yeah, it was yeah. night. We, we got back in the night. Yeah. Yeah, I was. I yeah. was. 
full, full, full of welk and all. Yeah, yeah. That was a great day. It was a, well, not a great day, a sad yeah. day. Same old, 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 Alfie hurt himself badly, eh? Yeah. Yeah, he no, was the worst. And then you, you, you got second prize. Eh? I got second <laughs> prize, yeah. <laughs> Saf always seems to get second prize, don't they? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Anyway, Gordon, have you, have you told your side of the story? Yeah, well, no. the, the main thing, I got called out. I was supposed to be the diver that was going to dive because I was qualified. And once the boat got to the wreck, they took me downstairs to show me the equipment that I'm going to wear. And it was an old bell helmet with these pipes and pipes and everything. So <laughs> then we decided, no, we're not going to do that dive, definitely. <laughs> then you climbed on, on the aircraft itself. And remember the floor actually cut your foot mm. from the impact of the floor. Everything had gone into the controls and that. Exactly. And then we tried to figure out if it had blades on or not, and we couldn't see the blades at all. And then in the end, we didn't hook it on the eye hook. We actually just hooked it on the undercarriage and lifted her like that. That's mm. the, that photo that Pussy's got. You can yeah. see it lifted her from the bottom. Oh, uh, okay. Then we put uh, it on the table. And then how did we get it? How did we get it up straight? Uh, we, we, when Kiri and them arrived there, for when they took it off the deck, then they turned oh, it, uh, in oh, the right. hotel. Well, <coughs> yeah, I thought we dived down and connected it there. Some one of us, I don't know. Yeah, we, 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 we uh, yeah we went down and then you couldn't see the blade because I don't know what, how, and whatever. And yeah. so that was fun because of the impact of the water, we they lost the blades, so we just picked her up like that. Mm. That's what I remember. Yeah. And then the beer story was also very well we invited. And I, I remember Neville recuperating after the first beer. That was great. He <laughs> went and slept on the roof. Came so we did, him. It. it was terrible. There yeah. and back. And you know how nice it is there. If you, if you, if you are seasick, go lie, go lie on the top. Works I like remember. a book. <laughs> Line on the top. Something like yeah. a job. Yeah. 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 And, that and, was a lucky like adventure, but pity about the, the yeah. aeroplane and the, the nose that got it. Because I remember as soon as you had finished putting the ALO on the ship itself, when we turned, they had just finished servicing the second motor. Then they put both motors on, then we motored home with both yeah, yes. motors. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the sea was rough, eh? Yeah, no, it was busy. <laughs> and another thing that I remember is those ropes. Those ropes were covered with like a thick oil. They gave us special overalls. Yeah. We didn't bugger our overalls up. And those ropes are covered with like a tar thing. Yeah. And then they take us down to the, the hospital. It's got a hospital, I think, with three beds. I can't remember. And then the skipper comes in and says, Yes, the person, whatever you want. And everything. So, oh, well, case of beers. Okay, right. Case of castle. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> the. Yes, the person, he'll look after you, everything. He gives us special soap there in a bath. Yes, it's flaming hot bath inside that place. We all had a lacquer bath cleaned up and everything like that. Put on our, our normal overalls again. And then we went down to the captain's cabin. But he was already drunk, I wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. He... <laughs> yeah. So then we had a lacquer party, got the, got the aloe on board. So. Well, lads, I, I learned things today yeah, after many, many years, um, things that I didn't, I, I, as I said in the beginning, I was sort of vaguely aware of bits and pieces, but I didn't have a clue. Um, looks like these guys went, the, these three friends went and had a good one on me there. So, yeah, well, actually on 620, because as I said earlier on, I that while they were getting nice and fraughty in the pub, I was on cloud nine. Uh, induced by uh, doctors and they 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 lot putting all sorts of uh, cute medical pinks into me. Anyway, that was it. That was the end of six twenty. She was recovered. Um, I think at the end of the day, she was taken back to uh, the factory at Atlas, and the board of inquiry uh, did bits and pieces there, and uh, she was never. Uh, repaired uh she was a write-off and that's the way she stayed and that's the way she should should have stayed um so uh, i do thank you 
uh, all for watching. I do thank you all for joining us here and enjoying a bit of a humorous uh, side to the story. Um, yeah, that story could have could have uh, ended badly uh, with loss of life, but it didn't. Um, yeah. Once again, I do believe, uh, as I've said in a previous conversation, I do believe that uh, uh, God's hand was on us, on me, looking after us that day. Got hurt, but uh, we're still here. We're still here to laugh about it. So from my side, gents, I do thank you so, so much for taking the time. Um, and yes, uh, until we meet again, God bless. God bless. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications. Uh, Gordon, um, just to remind you, the logbook story that I'm actually referring to is um, a certain young gentleman, when they heard news that 620 moored into the water, went ferreting around in all the presses until he found a certain other arsehole's logbooks and training files, and he hid them away so that the Board of Inquiry couldn't... Uh, if in case the logbook wasn't complete, it might still isn't. And that certain young gentleman was you. So by the time I got back to the squadron, you brought me the, and you said, I hid these away. Did they ever ask you? And I said, no, nobody ever, ever asked me. So I'm very happy you did me a big favor because my logbook obviously wasn't. It's still not. The last few pages is still in pencil. And 620's entry is not there because we never came home. So I never, I never finished my logbook off. It's as is in about November uh, 90. That's about the last time I put an entry in my logbook. Sure, sure. So, so you, you take the credit for that. Okay, I'll just keep it quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were sharp thinking there. You were very sharp thinking. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. There was one incident we did an engine change as well. And there's a problem with the aircraft. And I remember running back, grabbing the books, and just confirming that all the jury inspections were carried out. But yeah. I, that wasn't your aircraft. I don't it think could so. have been because we had done we had done a test flight and compass ring with the last two flights, Dolph, just before Christmas. Yes. yes, uh, yes so yes. it could have been that one that you very sharply did. Maybe you can yeah. you can give us a bit of that too. That's all good. I mean, nobody's going to flip and come after you. Yeah. Well, we hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, These no. inquiries nowadays, yeah.